Hey guys, the, C the P-51 is here from SIVA, SIVA Logistics, P-51, yeah, I'm going to check it out right now, P-51 day. There it is, baby, box looks good, I got it up, I got it on the side, but that's okay, I guess, it's packed very well, P-51 packs this package very, very well. This is it, guys. Yeah. All right, we're gonna open this up. I'll show you guys when I get to my garage. <clears throat> well, I just woke up, sorry guys. It's early, we're here for the first delivery. P51, yeah. Uh-oh, got a little dent in the box right there. See the dent in the box? I hope that didn't go through to the bike. Look at the dent in the hole. Oh, man. I hope that, I hope a forklift didn't make that hole. See the hole right there? Right there. All right, guys. Hello, everybody. Jersey style. What's going on? Look what we got today, guys. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I always wanted this bike, but I never pulled the trigger. I got it. I finally got it. I always wanted one. And I bought e-bike over e-bike over e-bike. I never pulled the trigger on this because it was so expensive. But I've been watching so many videos and doing so much research on this bike. And the customer service, AJ and Kevin, are just amazing. Just, they're just, they got back to me every question I asked, everything. And the bike's built in America. All the videos I've been watching about this bike is just amazing. So let's get this open. I wasn't gonna do an unboxing. This is not your everyday e-bike. This thing is a step above, I believe. Let's get this open. The way it's packaged, I have to do an unboxing. I gotta have this on my channel. This bike is beautiful. The box looks perfect on this side, but the other side, there's a little, well, you saw the beginning of the video. There's a little hole on the other side. I hope it didn't puncture through and hit the bike, but uh, we'll find out. Now, let's see. Uh, all right, you gotta lift the box open. That's all you gotta do. Lay it flat, lift this bad boy open. All right, all right. Hold on, let me adjust the camera, guys. I think I gotta bring the camera closer. Let's see. All right, let's put the camera there. Oh boy, there we go. Get this box out of the way. This is most of the experience right here, guys. This is the best part. I'm telling you. You guys see this? I gotta make sure this camera's on this. Let me show you guys this. Look how this bike is packed. This is what makes this bike a step above the competition. Oh my God. Look at that KKE shock. Woof. It's huge in person, man. Look at the size of that. It's huge in person, I said. That's what she said, right? Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Welcome to the P-51 family. Check that out. Look at the American flag sticker. It's so nice, man. Look how beautiful that is. Nice presentation. Look at the presentation. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I got the red decal kit. And uh, Kevin put it on right at the factory. Hold on. Let's get this up. Oh, let's see. I don't see no damage. Wow, look at that bike. You guys see the cutout? Look at the cutout they use. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but this costs money. This cost the company a lot of money. I mean, believe it or not, my dad back in the back in the 70s and 80s, he used to work for a packing company. And he this was expensive back then. I can't imagine what it costs now. I'm sure it still costs very it's very expensive. Especially with a custom molded design like this. They had this they had this box tailored made for this bike. That, goes, that takes a lot of money right there, so I'm sure you're paying for the box. But just look at this. Look at the presentation. Look at this. Look at the pedals. Look at the beautiful wrench. Look at that wrench they give you. Wow, man. It's just the presentation is everything, guys. This is like opening the Apple iPhone. Not that I care about a phone. I wish I could get away from using the phone. My face is usually glued to it, so I'm usually buying something. 
but just take a look. Let's just take a look at the quad. Look at the white frame I got. Man, is that beautiful. Wow. Look at that bike. I wanted to spend a little more time with this unboxing because there's a few videos circulating, <clears throat> circulating on YouTube, but nobody really spends a lot of time with the camera on this. This was the big part for me, guys. Just, just, ah, oh, man. I didn't even take the bike out yet, and I love it. But this is this is the whole process. You got to put the kickstand on, and all you got to do is stand the bike up. You put the handlebars on, pedals, and you're good to go. Look at the kickstand. What a beefy-looking kickstand. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost like the rest. Pretty good quality, though. Yeah, it's almost like the rest of the e-bikes I've seen. But, yeah, it still looks very nice. But look at, look at the packing. Holy mackerel, man. Let me back this camera up. Can you guys see that? Man, you guys, can fit, you guys can fast forward if you want to the end of the video, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to keep this camera right on this bike for a minute. I just want to see it. And I don't know how good the tires are. I was a little concerned about the tires. Yeah, they're the, they're the Kenda tires. I don't know. I haven't seen any... I haven't seen any problems on YouTube. I haven't anybody, I haven't heard anybody say like they get flats all the time on a P51. I haven't heard it, but I had bad luck with Kenda tires so far. I get flats all the time in Kenda, but uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll change the tires down the road. I'm probably gonna put flat out in these. I'm not sure yet. We'll see, but just look at this bike, man. Just the design is just simply amazing, man. These guys designed this bike in the garage. I'm sure some of you know the backstory. They used to ride Surons and stuff, and they got tired of getting pulled over by the cops. Or they used to break the bikes. You know, they used to do jumps and stuff and stunts, and the bikes end up breaking. They made this thing almost indestructible. There's another YouTuber out there. What's his name? Chavez, I believe it is. Um, a couple guys. You know, Sean, well, I forget the guy's name. Sean, Sean River Films or something. But those guys swear by this bike. The one guy, his girlfriend crashed it into a guardrail, and the bike, the handlebars bent a little bit, but nothing happened to the frame. And this bike is like a tank he compared it to. He compared it to a tank. It looks like a tank. I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I knew I would like this white. The white pops with the red, the red decals and everything. Wow, look at that. Look at the light. Look at the headlight. All right, let's put this tripod back on, put the kickstand back on. And get this bad boy opened up. All right. Look at this. Oh, look at this. We got a little... I forgot about this. Thank you very much, Kevin. I appreciate it. He threw in a nice shirt for me. I put extra large on there. That was my fault. But it'll shrink, guys. I'm down to like 180 now. So, well, yeah, it should fit fine. These things shrink all the time. All right, back to the video, guys. All right, guys, I got it out of the box and built. It was very easy process. You put the kickstand on, you put the handlebars on, and I got the fender kit. I put the fenders on. I'm going to let you guys have a look. It, I'm telling you, I've seen this on YouTube now for the past six months. I've been watching this bike, and in person, it's definitely incredible quality. I love it. It's amazing. I haven't even rode it yet, guys. I just took it for a quick spin without the pedals just to see. But I haven't unlocked the speed yet. I haven't done any of that. The taillights are awesome. One taillight is a little crooked inside. One is like up and one is down with the LEDs. But I don't think it's a big deal. I think at night it's still going to reflect on this fender. I think that's the whole purpose of that. But uh, the tires are indeed not e-bike tires. They're a little better. They're, uh, they say moped on them, but it's definitely a better grade. That's what I was concerned about when I saw Kenda. You know, I wasn't sure. But uh, let me see if I can show you guys the moped. What the hell is it? It's not really important. But it says moped on here, on the tire itself. Like, it's a really good quality, I guess. It's a lot thicker. I could, I could tell just by feeling it right there. See where it says moped? So I guess it's a better grade than an e-bike tire. So that's good news. The forks are amazing. I love the decal kit. I probably will get the... They sell a metal plate instead of this plastic one. The plastic just makes the bike look cheap. It still looks nice, but why put plastic? You might as well continue to get the quality parts. Uh, Magora brakes. Love the brakes. Great brakes, man. Really nice quality. You can just feel them. They're squeaking a little bit, but that's probably because it's brand new. I didn't peel the paper off this yet. That's satisfaction. Look at that. Satisfaction, baby. I mean, I wish the battery was bigger already. I don't want to complain about the bike. I wish it was a tad bit bigger. 
But uh, I'm happy with that now. I heard they're coming out with a box for the bottom. I can't wait for that. And I heard through the grapevine that they're going to do some kind of Bluetooth speaker here. I'm up for that. I always like sounds. Hopefully they design something with speakers on both sides of that. That'd be pretty cool. I love this, but I sat on a bike already. I'm not a tall guy. I'm only 5'6", but I do want the riser pad. They sell another riser thing here. I talked to Kevin. He didn't think I would need it when I told him my size. I was 5'6", but I think I'd like the more comfort. I don't want to lean over, and I'm leaning over a little bit too much on this bike. But, uh... Uh-oh, what is this? Making a lot of noise coming down the street. The hell is that? It's a loud truck, man. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get the riser pad on this. It'll be a little more comfort for me. Look at the Baja light, guys. Nice light, and I like the switches. The switches are beautiful. Beautiful switches. The grips, the jury's out on that still. I don't know yet. I don't know if I wanna keep it. I mean, they definitely have a lot of grip to it. You, you won't slip. You will never slip. But do I want something a little softer? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We'll see. But yeah, these brakes are incredible. Four piston brakes. Really, really nice quality. I want to make sure that doesn't get in the way. All right, that's good. But yeah, the frame in person. You got to see this bike in person, guys. I'm telling you. Everything about it is quality. And like I told you, I'm so happy the tires are a step up. They're a step up your regular traditional e-bike tires. Uh, the seat. I just took it for a little spin around here. I don't know about long-term comfort, but I don't hear anybody complaining about it. But I probably will get a custom seat made, you know. It's not bad, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out to uh, Tapia, Tapia Seats, or a local place by me in Asbury Park, New Jersey. I may go to them and get a seat designed. But, uh, yeah, great shocks in the back, great shocks in the front. It looks beautiful, man. It's heavy. Man, is this bike gorgeous. Let me show you guys the display. Let me turn it on. Let's turn this bad boy on. Look at that. Wow. Built by riders for riders. I love the display. Really, really sharp. It has five different modes. Eco. You'll see. Then it goes to sport. See that? It goes up to five. It goes to sport. I got no miles on it. Zero. We're going to ride this bad boy. I'm going to be wearing my helmet with this because I think the bike looks so cool. I got a Troy Lee Designs helmet. It's like one of those motocross helmets. I think it'll look good with this bike. I even bought myself some goggles. I was concerned about this too, the trigger, but it, it, it feels like quality. It's pretty thick. So I got no concerns about that anymore. Really nice bike guys, but I'm definitely gonna get the seat done probably right away. I like custom stuff. All right, let's start riding this bad boy. I'll be doing videos, a lot of videos on this bike. I'm not getting any kickbacks on this bike, but I love the quality. And Kevin and AJ were so nice. Great customer service. So I just want to give back, man. I'm going to give back to this bike because I think pe more people should know about this quality built bike in America. USA. Steel. This is made out of steel, guys. And by the way, uh, next week I have another big new BGX coming. I have another one of these coming, guys. Let me zoom back out. And when I zoom back out, the bike looks really small. And that's not the case. This is really a big bike. Anyway, I got one of these coming. Uh, in gold and since this is not a sponsored video I would normally wouldn't talk about another bike company but this is my this is one of my bikes that I absolutely love I've been through three dozen e-bikes and this is probably one of the best bikes I've ever owned the BGX I have a code for this one it's a jersey style 7 for a hundred dollars off for this bike it's I'm telling you it's an incredible riding bike guys for the street very very comfortable very comfortable first e-bike that I had I owned with five inch tires. All right, I thought I'd just go off topic real quick. This is about the P51, but I just wanted you guys to know about this bike is too. Now, now I got the best of both worlds. This is for on street, off road, anything I want. And this is for the cruising days. I wanna go long distance. Comes with a decent battery, but stay tuned. Next week, I got a gold one coming, all gold. There's mine back here, guys. There's my red one. I got a red one. I got the carbon fiber look. I had some pinstriping done to it, some custom pinstriping. But uh, yeah, I got these little fun toys over here. I got that little Massimo scooter, it's a lot of fun. Got my custom bike. I just sold that one. It had custom handlebars on it, not those. But uh, yeah, I got rid of that. But uh, all right, guys, that's it. I'm fixing this one, flat tire the other day. But stay tuned, some more e-bikes coming and I'm buying a high powered scooter soon, an off-road scooter. 
So stay tuned for that. I love you all. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless, guys. Take care. Thank you.